All right, a high profile fitness personality is facing accusations of neglect and abuse as a dog breeder. Opposition popping up when Allie Holman and her husband asked the city of Dayton to change its rules so that they could legally operate their French bulldog breeding business. Fox 9's Corn Hoggard is in our newsroom. And so, Corn, you talked to her about the allegations that you're hearing from several of her customers. That's right, Kelsey. You may recognize the name Allie Holman at home. She was a fitness contributor at Fox 9 a decade ago. She's currently on other local TV stations. She didn't want to be on TV today, but I did talk to her for quite a while as she tried to explain the complaints as a harassment campaign against her. But they're more than just complaints. They're lawsuits and an active criminal investigation. She's in a Disturbing videos and photos of sick and dying French Bulldogs add up quickly when customers of Bold North Frenchies come together. I know personally of at least 12 or 13. Several of them reached out to the animal cruelty watchdog group Animal Folks earlier this year. The stories are not just, you know, I didn't get what I paid for. They're stories about people who receive puppies in horrible conditions, very sick. Um, Sometimes they die within days of these consumers purchasing these puppies. Allie and Mark Holman have recently run the business out of their home in Dayton, and they've sold French bulldogs to people across the country. I'm Rachel Armstrong. I came in from Colorado. Rachel Armstrong came to Dayton from Colorado this month to let the city's planning commission know the puppy she got needed emergency care almost immediately when she got it home. It is my opinion they could care less if my puppy lived or died. Armstrong is one of three people with active lawsuits against the Holmans in Minnesota. Allie Holman told me her business gets clean bills of health from inspectors, but she couldn't share those records Wednesday. She did share photos of some of the dog areas in her home and said she loves all the animals and treats them like babies. But video from a former neighbor in Brooklyn Park shows a lot tougher treatment. Her neighbor called it abuse. You're going to hear several accounts of neglect, um, abuse. Holman told me the long list of complaints against her business really emanates from one woman in Massachusetts, Jen Dierica. She accused Dierico of harassment and filed a defamation lawsuit against her in May. Three months earlier, a Massachusetts court awarded Dierico a $48,000 judgment against the Holmans, which they are now trying to vacate. Dierico also warned the Dayton Planning Commission not to legalize the Holmans' breeding operation. I thank Allie for connecting all of his victims. And after the Planning Commission heard from nine people with more in the wings, the Holmans backed off. Just noticed in an email from the applicant that they are withdrawing their applications. Thank you. <laughs> The planning commission moved on, but Dayton's police chief told me they have an active criminal investigation into the Holman's breeding operation, and the team at Animal Folks is keeping an eye on it, too. If she is so involved in animal cruelty, she needs to be shut down. And so Allie also posted to Facebook since our conversations today. She mentioned fake pages bashing her and said she'll continue loving dogs and bringing joy to families. A lot of her customers tell me they got more grief than joy. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Corin.